Hey, you're watching Jake and Amir. Wow, recording intros without me. I and mean, you're in here. Touche. Hey, what's the capital of Cleveland? What? What's the capital of Cleveland? I heard you. It doesn't make any sense. Oh, hi -o. Jesus Christ. Let me answer your question with one of my own. I didn't ask one. What was the worst part of my face before the surgery? Beady eyes, chipmunk cheeks, buck teeth, bad skin. My Jew nose. You know what, man? Stop saying that, all right? I never had a problem with your nose. Well, now you're really not going to have a problem with it. Please allow me to reintroduce myself. My name is Nose. Oh! And to the OZ. No, man, come on. Your nose is gone. Where did you get surgery? Well, you know my cousin Leron, right? Yes, yes, I know your cousin Leron. Anyway, his ex boyfriend, Parm. Wait a second, Leron's gay? Yeah, dude, it's 2013. Why is that of note to you? I'm just saying, like, he has kids. Yeah, he has kids. No, I'm sorry, no. So, right. so gay people can't have children, is no, that what you're saying? Can't. Is that your little agenda? Can no, you, I'm serious. If, if gay people having children freaks you out this much, it doesn't freak me out. Then you have a lot of soul you know searching what? to do. I don't yeah. have any soul you really searching. Do. You know what freaks me you out? Your face freaks me out. And you have to say, do you deserve children? Because I really don't think that you do. What happened? to your face. Parm fancies himself an amateur surgeon, a, a bone sartorialist, if you will. I won't. Anyway, I'm in the market for a new schnoz, you know, and the price was right at 5K plus gas. Gas? Did I mention that the hospital was a van? No. How is that legal? If you think it's legal, I got a news flash for you. It taint. Ah. Oh. That's sexual harassment. General anesthesia? General, I need no anesthesia. I was clubbed on the head like a stunned cow before slaughter. I fell into a deep, fitful rest. Fever nightmares of birds eating my face and what have you. But listen up, because this is where it gets real. It hasn't already gotten real? You were clubbed in a van by a guy named Parm. I shoot awake mid-surgery. You know, I guess the club didn't do the trick. <laughs> anyway, long story short. Shower. Burn the chair. I wake up in a cold, cold sweat to the sound of a bone saw cutting through my skin, cartilage, nasal cavity, and deep, deep, deep into my skull. And I'm like, you know what? No, enough is enough. I take a scalpel, blind old Parm, and I am out of there. Unfortunately for me, I'm too weak, tired, scared, and lame to get much further than the front of the inside of the van. Erstwhile, Parmesan is in the back, ruffling around, swearing to the only pagan god he believes in that he's gonna have my head in a jar for what I'd done to him, re blinding him with a scalpel. Was it worth it? Let me work it. <laughs> All this destruction. It was nerf if and if and when yet, and you're not this even cracking carnage. it. This yeah. carnage. A smile. Yeah? Was it worth changing your stupid nose over? If you're talking about blinding Parm, then you should know that he was nearly blind to begin with, okay? If not already there. You still stab somebody in his eye, right? And by the way, why would you let a blind person operate on your face? Oh. Speak o oh, the devil. <laughs> Parm's hospice nurse is calling me. Sorry, how old is Parm? 93. Your cousin dated it's him? It's 2013. Hello? Yes. No, no, no. Okay, ma'am. Ma'am, I can assure you he was blind as a bat already. You are not putting that on me. Hello? If Parm wants to talk to me, he can talk to me himself. Oh, hello, Mr. Sir. Yeah, you know what? No, you are a chicken. You are a chicken, Parm. You are a goddamn chicken, Parmesan.